ferocious, I'm fed up, dismissing the competition. Hello and welcome to a very long overdue Ask Kev Anything. Episode 13. Ask Kevin Anything the 13th. Ooh. Yeah. Anyways, um, sorry I haven't been making any videos lately. Uh, I've been a little sick, as you can tell by my voice. A little hoarse. Um, yeah, I've got the flu. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get some questions done here. Question number one comes from... Actually, it's exam 3000, hee hee. And he's got two questions. Uh, first question being, You said before that you were a Friday the 13th fan. May I ask you to please confirm once and for all to all my fanboy friends that Jason X is the most god-awful disgrace to the Friday the 13th franchise. P.S. How do you feel when you watched it? In my opinion, okay, although Jason X was bad, don't get me wrong, it was bad. It was slightly innovative, in the sense they took him right out of his element and put him in another element. And you can't help but like the fact when he was half blown up and the nanobites redid, restructured his body with metal. He looked kind of sharp. So I can't say that Jason X is the worst Friday the 13th movie ever. The worst Friday the 13th movie ever, in my opinion, is Jason Goes to Hell. This guy here, Jason. This movie, and this figure here from Sideshow, is just bullshit. I mean, no offense, man, but that, like, holy shit, did you watch Jason Goes to Hell? That, you know, they got that guy from X-Files, there, to the Voorhees be born, Voorhees born, to Voorhees die, Voorhees. You know, the guy's like, oh, give me more information, you know, here, pull my fucking fingers out, man, pull my fucking fingers out, tell me more, Voorhees born, Voorhees Jason, Voorhees born, born, Voorhees born, like, what the fuck is this shit? It made no sense, and in the beginning, when the guy grabs the heart, and eats into it, I'm like, what the fuck is that? What kind of coroner is that? Like, who does that shit? Really? So yeah, so, and not to mention the fact you only see Jason in his mask right in the beginning and right at the end of the movie, kind of sucked as well. Uh, next question from the same individual from Exam 300, he said, what's your number one favorite movie of, that you've ever seen in your life, and what's the most horrible movie you've ever seen in your life? So what is my favorite and least favorite movie? My favorite movie, for those of you who do know me, know my fascination with Great White Sharks, is Jaws, naturally. Which is actually slightly spoofed in the movie Jason Goes to Hell. That guy there, Voorhees Bone, Voorhees Fingers, Voorhees Bone, to Voorhees Dead, to Voorhees. That guy actually claims to a, uh, a newsman, you know, pay the bounty and I'll get Jason. For that, I bring you the mask, the machete, the whole damn thing. Which is actually a mockery of Jaws, in which Quint says, you know, I'll bring you the, f the head, the tail, the whole damn thing of the shark. So yeah, anyways, Jaws is my favorite movie. The movie that I hated the most that I've ever watched would have to be a musical called uh, Tommy by The Who, about the pinball wizard guy. Oh my god, that was just garbage. And I can remember one of my old, old friends, actually one of my brother's friends, he said, Kevin, watch this, man, watch this shit, it's a good horror movie. And I was just waiting, waiting, waiting to see the good horror in this shit. It's, it's a fucking musical with a pinball wizard. The only thing horrifying about it was the movie absolutely sucked from beginning to end. <sighs> that was crap. Alright, next question here is from UOFMMIDO. UOF Mido. Sorry if I didn't pronounce it right. And he says, in my opinion, WWE is a hundred times better than TNA. We're talking about wrestling here. The TNA will ever be. When I was at Raw and when Y2J came out, and the electricity I felt in the arena excitement just makes me think that more. Why? My, what makes me think that more? Sorry. My question is, why do you think TNA is better than a WWE? Why do you like it more? I'll tell you why. You, you hit the nail on the head right there. Jericho came out. It was huge because it was his big return. Y2J. We all went for it. And then what? Nothing. Like, then they shove him on the mid card against fucking JBL. The fuck is that? The reason why I like TNA more is because TNA is innovative. The wrestling is actually good. 
And these people legitimately put their bodies on the line and rarely get hurt. As opposed to the WWE where they claim bodies are on the line, everybody gets hurt. And they don't even fucking wrestle half-ass. I don't get that. Look at what happened with WCW. WCW had a great cruiserweight division, which kind of reminds me of the X Division. What happened? Three of these guys actually went to, went on to the WWE to become world heavyweight champions. Eddie Guerrero, Rey Mysterio, Chris Jericho. They were all cruiserweights in the WCW. But they all became heavyweights in the WWE. You know, there was a lot of talent outside of the WWE. Don't get me wrong, WWE does have its talent. But all of its talent is getting old. While TNA has a lot of fresh faces, which are still young, which are just great to watch, I find. Right, my next question is from a man with no name. And he writes, Kev, what do you think of the new story about DC possibly killing off Batman and replacing him with one of the Robins. Okay. I think this question is with the, um, I don't know if you guys heard or people heard about this or not. I know it was pretty big in the, in the world of comics that DC was planning to kill off Batman and uh, make him a god. And Here's a little interlude for you guys just to help you kind of piece together what's going on here. DC Comics in Death in a Family asked the fans to vote on Jason Todd's which is Robin, his fate, will he die or will he stay alive? The fans vote that Jason Todd is to be killed at the end of the issue, which he was. Jason Todd is dead. Now, they want to replace Batman, Bruce Wayne, with Jason Todd, the man who was voted to die. Jason Todd was brought back from the dead when Superboy Prime punched a hole into reality, which makes no fucking sense. And now they want him to replace Bruce Wayne. The DC fans voted to kill him off. So they said, basically, hey, we don't want this fucker anymore to be Robin. Get rid of him. So they voted to have him eliminated. So now DC Comics wants to make that guy who was voted to be killed by their fan base to become the new Batman? Are they fucking high? Like seriously, that must be the most ludicrous shit I've ever heard. And I mean, good thing that DC's owned by Warner Brothers for fuck's sakes and that they stepped in and said, whoa, hey, whoa guys, we doing this shit? What the fuck are you guys talking about, man? What the hell are you guys drinking? Like, come on. Like, <laughs> seriously, man, you're gonna take an icon like Batman, kill him, and replace him with somebody that your entire fan base hates enough that they voted for him to be dead? You fuck! Whoa! Whoa! Stop pulling a quesada! Like, whoa, guys, calm down, you know? Like, chill pill, you've killed Superman before, ha, huh? it's enough. You know, nobody wanted to see Superman replaced by fucking Jimmy Olsen. You know what I mean? Like, well, that's all the time we have for this Ask Kev Anything. Again, I'm sorry about my voice uh, being a little scratchy and whatnot. Hopefully I get over this flu eventually. So, um, leave a comment. Until next time, guys, take care. Later.